smell of a real Christmas tree to get the holiday spirit going. But with the beauty and the smell come some dangers, and today's national investigative correspondent Jeff Rossin is here to give us some very simple safety tips on how best to protect against fire hazards caused by the trees. Before we bring him out, take a quick look at this. This is the kind of Christmas tree you probably have in your home right now. As you can see, it is decorated, full of ornaments, and it has not been watered in days. The way these fires normally start, a small little spark somewhere in your house. And what we're going to do is we're going to set a spark here and set this tree on fire, see how fast it burns. We're going to get out so we're safe. Let's do it. Fire in the hole. Within seconds, it's an inferno. The tree fully engulfed. Whoa, that smoke. Ugh. Within seconds, look how that just overpowers you. Definitely. This is what happens in your home when you don't water your tree. Literally every minute it'll double in size. It's like having a huge piece of kindling in the middle of your living room. And watch, it's already spreading to the table and chair. The entire room is on fire. If I'm in my house, am I supposed to get a fire extinguisher and put this out? That's the biggest mistake that people make is try to stay within their home and try to fight this Christmas tree fire. Get out of the home immediately and call 911. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> For those of us who aren't, help. Yeah. So if you're going to get a real tree and you're going to go to the tree farm or you're going to buy it from the side of the street, you yes. want to make sure to water that tree every single day. That is how you present a, uh, prevent a Christmas tree fire. So don't let water the brittle uh, the, the so branches get brittle. This is a, by the way, do you know Christmas trees are so dangerous, so flammable? Here in 30 Rock, we're not even allowed to have a real Christmas tree. We wanted to bring one out as a prop. Oh. They wouldn't let us. They only let us have these branches. Wow. <laughs> so that's how, that, it is serious. So this is a, this is a real tree. I want okay. you to feel this. It should feel dewy and it should feel sticky dewy. if it's watered. It feels dewy. It yeah. feels dewy, right. I can see that. So here's one that's dried up a little bit. Now, here's We've a cool little We've all felt that when we get to January. Yes, like right here. If the needles oh, yeah. fall off, see They're the needles are falling off. off this thing? Yep. If the needles fall off. Fire trap. This, it's a fire trap. Gotta go. It's probably dying. Got it. So you want to water your tree every single day. Something else you want to do, again, we can't have the full tree, so we have the stump. <laughs> so when you go to the tree farm, right, here's something really cool you want to do. You want to take it and go like this against the ground. Of course, you're going to have You're holding a big the tree. tree? Yeah. I mean, they're not, you can pick it up. You can do it. I just kind of bang it to see if the needles fall off. That's another way to you do really it. You really don't get a tree every year, do you? <laughs> no, no. I can hold my manure very well. Unless like you this. get the little Charlie Brown version, you cannot do that to your so tree. So you want, you want to make sure that they, you, before you take it home, have them cut off a foot or two of the tree at the bottom mm -hmm. and take some water and pour it on a rag like this mm -hmm. and, and, and wet the bottom of it to, so it's wet by the time it gets to your house. Now here's really? something. Yes, that's what they say. That's the this is like overkill. Version. All right, what's this? This is my okay, favorite so thing. You, this, this part you do need to pay attention this to. Is that really that cool. other stuff is not important. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so this is a stand, right? So this yeah. is a Christmas tree stand. This thing is really cool because a lot of times these trees can topple over if you don't secure it correctly. Yes, yeah, been there. Watch how cool this is. You stick this in like this. And by the way, the cool thing about how this is how is it standing? You can how did pour you get it to water stand right, right there? in there. You can pour the water right in there, and it'll keep feeding the tree. How did you get it to stay? Oh, to look at that. There's a little like. Oh, it's like a little nail. A little nail in there. Stick it in like that, mm -hmm. and then you just go like this. That is genius. You see it closing up? You can and do it with come your foot. Right against it. And look, it's right against it. You can't move it. I feel that. And you can do it with your foot, you know, as opposed to yeah. like getting on under there. Yeah, you get it with your foot. That is really good. So the other thing you can do is artificial trees. And now you know the secret of television. Whenever you see a tree on the set, it's artificial. I smell you pine. Can have them real. Is that just from your hands? Yeah, this okay. is from my hands. It's from the dewy. But yeah, see? Yeah, it, it is. Smells it's good. your hands. It smells like it's Christmas. Nice. <laughs> And some dove maybe. So the fake trees. Yeah, so the fake trees, you want to make sure on the box it says flame retardant, flame resistant on the box if you are going to have an artificial tree. Are they not house. all? Most of them are, of course, but you want to make sure they delineate that right on the so box. So can I tell you a story? So Doug and I and our kids went to get our own Christmas tree just last weekend. Yes. We always get real, never fake. We decided to cut down our own Christmas tree at this farm in New Jersey. We asked the guy, where are the Frasers? You know about the Frasers? Right? Because they're not supposed to lose their needles, right? He says, over there. So we walk over there. Now, I now know that you can't get, they don't grow Frasers in this region of the country. They come from down south. <laughs> but there we were, and we start to cut. We're going to saw down our, we, mm -hmm. with our kids, hike 90 minutes, finally get there, start to cut. Some guy named Hunter walks by. I say, Hunter, this is a Frasier, right? He says, no, it's something else. I never heard the name. I'm like, well, what is that known for? You know, because the Frasiers are known to hold their needles. Yeah. He says, really sharp needles. <laughs> Now, I've got three kids, eight, six, and four. I say, well, that's not good. And he goes, well, but they fall off right away. <laughs> like, well, that's... So like a couple of idiots, we bought it anyway. If I paid $100, we yeah. bring it back home, we get it into our apartment. And? As soon as we bring it into our apartment, 
I, I am 100% sure it was a praying mantis. S flew out of it. <laughs> I, st I still don't know where it is. It's someplace in my apartment. Oh my Doug God. is trying to put it up. I am trying to help. Doug, his arms are bloody from the sharp needles. Oh I try to help him. Now my arms are completely pricked. And finally, we're looking at each other. And the stand, uh, the, the trunk, as it turns out, was like in a J form. It wouldn't go into the stand. We did not have that contraption. Do you need that? We're sweating, <laughs> bleeding. I look at him, I'm like, out? He's like, get it out of here. <laughs> Within five minutes, I was Googling fake trees that smell like pine. And we now have one standing you in our apartment. You tree. <laughs> that's great. I will say this for the record. We went, we went to the CVS, because that's where everybody gets their trees here in New York. You go to the Dwayne Reed or the CVS. And we got, like, the little baby trees for my kids, because they really wanted a real tree. Like so they, they, like, these are cool. they got, yeah, yeah, so each of them got one of these baby trees just to bring home, like, to their room. And that's it was kind of <laughs> sad, but no praying mantis. we made an effort. By the way, I, I, I just realized that, like, I'm literally, st have you ever had worse seats in the house than you're this close to the action? <laughs> I'm like, anyway, I apologize. I'm sorry. All right, nice so I'm going to go home and make okay. sure that my new fake tree is flame yes. retardant and, make, yeah, and resistant. And, and, and make sure there are no animals in it that are going to fly out <laughs> when you get home. Jeff Rawson, always a pleasure. You got it. Thank you. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.